Something a little different tonight for our Sports Plus Spotlight piece. Judy Warden-Brown is our town's version of Annie Oakley. If you think you've ever seen a sharpshooter in the past, you ain't seen nothing yet. Tonight, with the help of photographer and editor Randy Schwenkert, we give you the story of a woman who doesn't miss her target very often. She is going to a place where she spent her childhood to do perhaps what she does best. And let it be known that even though Judy Warden Brown is 72 years old and has shot a gun just once before in 55 years, she still has it. Yep. Yep. 25 shots, 24 hits. I haven't done it in so long and I hit them pretty solidly. Would you expect anything different from a woman who once donned the cover of the American Rifle Man magazine? With dexterous skills and dazzling looks, Judy was a star. I worked very hard to always wear a skirt. I never wore shorts, I never wore slacks. I wanted to look like a girl, act like a girl, be like a girl, and then go beat the men. She beat everybody. Judy was a four-time All-American, a 13-time national champion, a world champion. One scintillating day, she went 249 out of 250. You're just absolutely locked in. Um, it is effortless. It is total concentration. Yep. And it just goes by. Judy's high school career was just different. Her father, John, also a world champion, had her on the road competing 45 out of 52 weekends. Not a standard childhood for most Villa Duchenne girls. I didn't feel like I was cheated. I did, I did know that I led a very different life. But she did date in high school. The boy had to come in and meet my dad who sat in his den with the gun room with all the guns on the wall. And he did not get up out of his chair. And he would sit there and he would meet the date. And then he'd say, so let me, let, let me get my stuff. And my date would go, huh? He said, oh, well, I always ride shotgun. Last month in Springfield, Judy was enshrined into the Missouri Sports Hall of Fame for being our town's greatest skeet shooter. Now I'm going to kind of tear up a little bit. Um, my grandson, my oldest grandson, decided to send that information in. And it was it's so long ago and so forgotten. And he resurrected that. And to go back and relive that, and in my speech, I talked about legacy. Judy Warden-Brown has left quite a legacy. I want to be remembered as someone who lived as a champion, not as a winner, and then yeah. paid that forward to help other people in any way be champions. 